Hello, everybody. My name is Eric. If I had to quantify the number one comment, email, Discord message I get is, how do you get into this? How do you learn this? Uh, how should I learn this? And if you want my answer, mostly by messing around, following a variety of tutorials, and then just trying stuff out, trying to set up the environments, and hopefully not make any dumb mistakes. And if you want, how should I learn this? Well, that's what we're going to show you today. We've partnered with TryHackMe, who are running a really cool giveaway for up to $40,000 in prizes just from playing their hacking training, which in many ways is more like a game. And that's what I feel is the better way to get a grasp for various cybersecurity concepts, is to have these environments that are built for you that allow you to experience the real world, not just read, watch me do it, watch someone else do it, and get right into it. Uh, it's gamified, they have over 5 million users, and it's all in the browser, and they have, and I'm going to show this course once we, because we're going to kind of let's play a challenge in just a minute. Uh, but what's cool about that is you've got a Kali Linux system right in the browser, so you don't have to set up VMs, you don't have to deal with VPNs, you don't have to deal with all the things you usually do when you're doing capture the flag challenges. And by doing everything online in a simulated environment, all legal, you don't have to worry about trouble, legal trouble, you don't have to worry about questionable quality, because these guys, they know what they're doing. and they're, they're recognized, you know, if you put this on your LinkedIn, employers are going to look at that and they're going to be like, okay, this guy has actually done stuff. Because that's the challenge. People get degrees, they hear about a big number, they hear, oh, there's 3 million cybersecurity jobs unfilled. But then they try and they don't necessarily have much experience. So Try Hack Me is trying to help people with that so that you can actually try this out. And also, you can just see, is this something you like doing? Is this something you're interested in? So now let's take a look at this raffle. Sort of a fun, it helps you be, you know, gives you an incentive to really put some time into this. Because even if you're just doing this for fun, well, now there's something in it for you. So this is the Hack to Win raffle, where hacking meets winning. Turn your cybersecurity skills into real reward. Now, we've got a couple of prize draws available. We've got the silver draw. You can collect 10 silver tickets to win. We got the gold draw, we got the bronze draw. When you enter, and here's what you can get. Now, of course, the bi biggest thing you gaming laptop in gold, 12 month Try Hack B premium voucher, $100 Amazon voucher, a Flipper Zero. Uh, those are pretty cool. When I was at DEF CON, saw they, they have them out in the vendor. Everyone loves those. You can get a Logitech keyboard. You can get a premium ChatGPT subscription. You can get a PT1 SAL certification. Uh, and here you can get some other cool stuff. You get a street freeze. Um, the bronze are the most common. Then the silver is the next step. You get a t-shirt, baseball cap. Uh, you can get premium subscriptions. You can get a swag voucher. And you can get a discount on a certificate. So these are the levels. So I think it's more fun for us to actually play this. So you can see what this is like than for me to explain it. So let's do that. Now here we've got uh, a simple uh, web challenge. Now these can be... Uh, fun, and this is a useful skill, because if you want to do bug bounties, most bug bounty programs you're going to see are going to be uh, web hacking. And of course, remember, uh, it's for educational purposes only, only ever do this to something you have permission for, either a capture the flag challenge, something like try hack me, or a bug bounty program where you're following the scope, you know what you're doing, and if you're doing a bug bounty, the moment you've demonstrated what you need to demonstrate, uh, you stop there and you report it. That's how you do things ethically. So we're going to start the attack box, and we're also going to start the victim system. It takes about a minute for these systems to start up. And in this game, what we have to do is get into the cyber hero dashboard. Now we're going to see, okay, what might they have done wrong? And they also have lots of educational reading on this platform that can help you sort of figure out uh, if you if you didn't know uh, sort of the basics. And I'm going to share some of the basics. First thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to see, and we can also see here how quickly people generally uh, complete this. And they say it'll take 15 minutes, but we'll see. Now we're going to, we can click this to go into a full window now that we got that in, and we're going to get right to work. Now this is the Cyber Heroes website now. This, this, this kind of reminds me of, like, if you've ever watched Dura Rara, I think it's called the Dollars website. Uh, we are developers. Uh, and the Cyber Heroes, and we can see, so this is a group of young hackers, developers, bug... Well, good thing they're bug hunters, because they're definitely going to need some bug hunters. So we can look and see... We can look at the URLs. That's First of all, we can try 
the infamous thing you can, and this is, this is just probably a PHP form, I'm guessing. And as I kind of mindlessly command F around this, I realize it's actually not. Oh boy. So if you've ever wanted to know uh, how you don't secure, <laughs> I was expecting, I, I was expecting uh, something, uh, a SQL injection, but, uh, yikes. So, and we've seen, the, you know, and whenever you, whenever I played a CTF for the first time, I always thought this was too silly to be uh, real world. No, actually, we've seen like stuff like the T app. People do make really bad mistakes. So let's try this out. So we found out that, because, and I was, I actually had difficulty for a second because I was searching for an action uh, in a HTML form. But no, what we've actually got here is client side authentication. This has, believe it or not, become a topical problem again, purely because of systems like Next.js and these kind of hybrid apps where someone may not even realize that they've put their authentication checking in a part of a code. As it turned out, the password is super secret, one, two, three, four, five. Congratulations, hacker. You've made it. Go ahead and grab the other challenges as well. And if clipboard sharing works, we should just be able to put that down here. And that was the correct, so we did it. So now let's see, what are we gonna get? Ooh, silver, oh nice. Now, as I pointed out, if, if you've got premium, you get double the tickets. So that's another perk. Let's let's try try another one. Let's try some recon. Now this is a premium room because it comes with a bit more uh, complexity. So this is something if you have a premium plan, uh, you can you can play this. Now for this one, we don't use the attack box because we're actually doing something defensive. Which is uh, the great thing about this platform is you can try it. You can try defensive. You can try offensive. You know, it's a good way to discover and see like, are you more into red team, blue team, purple? You know, I'm kind of weird in that I actually am more into, like, the reverse engineering side of this and the investigation than I am into the offensive, but I know a lot of people, yeah, they like the offensive, or maybe they want to see, is this, you know, is this something you like? What we're going to try and do in this one is figure out, so there was a vulnerable web app running, and the question is, how did they get in? So let's just see what's on here. Probably var www. Let's, let's open this VM in... Uh, Full screen. We can potentially find out how they got in. Let's also see what the flag. So there's now the two main Linux-based uh, web hosts you'll see is Nginx and Apache. Apache is more popular, but decreasing while Nginx is slowly uh, replacing it. So. In this case, we're going to figure out what this system used, and then we're going to figure out where the logs might be. Let's see what the Apache config is doing, which is probably how this web host is hosted. In this config, we can see, okay, where are the logs going to be? No. Hmm. It's going to be var log. There'd be HTTPD or Apache. As always, like when you're doing these and you don't know these things, you just kind of have to Google around, or you can... Okay, I think I see what we're looking for here. So we got access.log. Let's look at that. So who might have gotten in here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Error.log. Let's try dot one, because maybe maybe that got overwritten. Oh, I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this at all. Let's go through. So Ubuntu configured, resuming normal operations, uh, user sbin Apache 2, fatal error, uncaught. SQLi access denied. Okay, that could be something else. Caught sig winch. Now it looks like we could be heading into trouble. I'm kind of curious if there is actually anything usable in that. If there's anything up on that page. No. So that's that's now been taken down. Security. See what's in other vhost log dot one. So this does look like our access logs. Now we could try piping this into a shell or a grep and then see, okay, shell, ls, sudo. We know they tried ifconfig from the other one. No. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bottom because chance that whatever happened was closer to the bottom. Let's also look at the code for this uh, 
Oh, that's the sequel. That's probably not what we want. Uh, what's in that image? So we can definitely see an indication of fuzzing. Like this, this looks like something that, like we can probably guess whatever was being uploaded here was an attempt at something. So now let's take a look at images.php. Base64 decode. Hmm. That doesn't look right to me. So we base64 decode system in PHP. Okay, so that's a shell then. That's not actually what we thought it was. Now we got every query here. So the trick here is we've got to use the cat command to read from other vhosts access log dot one, and then we use grep to filter requests that go to the reverse shell so we can see what actually happened there. So let's start running these into base64 decode. I'm not sure if the Kali VM is connected to the internet. Well, the shipment isn't, so we'll just do this in our own inner tab here. That looks to be the flag. Now, how did I know? I was kind of just guessing on the on the length. Uh, base64 is a little bit inefficient, but it's like the length is still going to be roughly what you expect the flag to be. But out of curiosity, I kind of want to see what the other things in here are. Okay, so this one's a bit shorter, so let's take a look at this one. ifconfig. Interesting. So that's what we saw before. And here's another hit. And that was actually pretty clever, because uh, the hacker in this case must have hit, they hit it instead of just putting it cat etsy pass wd. Okay, these guys definitely knew what they were doing. And if we assume that one went through, I don't know what... Uh, that's going to be really short. Could have been an ls command. That was also clever, because if you remember earlier, I tried grepping for commands, and by using the base64, that's no longer as clear. ID. Okay. So that was to check what user we, uh, the web server was running as. So now we can hit submit, and we have won the challenge. Now that one was a lot of fun. Uh, I guess the difficulty also is a matter of, I, I know a lot more about web hacking than I do about recon, so for me this one was a bit more tricky than the other one, uh, but that could be subjective. And there's stuff on here for everyone's difficulty level. You know, if you really want to get into it, you can get a, you can do a hard one, and you can easily spend hours, and you can show off that you, you understand all of this. So we're going to shut down, we're going to shut down our shell, and we'll also shut down our attack box. For now, I'm definitely going to play this later. This is actually a lot of fun, and I think it's a really great way. It's They got everything set up for you, so you can just focus on the actual learning and the experience and the hacking. You're not fiddling around with uh, VMs. You don't need, you know, especially like some people will have an M1 MacBook, and then it's just, it's a pain to get x86 VMs going on that. Well, they've, they've solved all of that for you. And this is a, and the great thing as well is, you know, if you want to get the premium, a lot of great stuff here, like this one, which I think was a really fun challenge. You can get it for less than $100 a year. There are other programs for learning cybersecurity, and they can run into the tens of thousands. Some of them will just be a bunch of videos, uh, which, of course, you can... Nothing wrong with watching videos, but do you really want to pay $10,000? And do you think or do you think paying someone $10,000 for that versus this, where you can see it and you can actually put these right on your LinkedIn so that an employer can look at this and say, look, this guy knows what he's doing. I think it's a great opportunity, whether you want to just know more about cybersecurity, you're looking to get a job, try and take one of those three and a half million jobs that are always talked about, There's you can do that with Try Hack Me. And the other thing you got to consider is the cost if you're DIYing it, like what does it cost to have a setup that can do VMs and environments? I mean, it depends. You can be like me and you can spend like $10,000 on a Threadripper system, uh, dedicated graphics accounts for VMs, whereas this, you know, it gets you to experience a lot of that without needing uh, to go down a very pricey rabbit hole. In fact, you can get started for free at the link in the description. And if you do want to get the paid plan, you can get 25% off the annual subscription uh, with the code ERIC25. And if you join before the 10th of September, contest is here. Get yourself Flipper Zero or maybe a new gaming laptop or free annual subscription. It's going to be all for me for now. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to Try Hack Me for sponsoring this video. And to all of you for watching it, 
And of course, if you decide to go through this, hope you have a lot of fun, hope you learn something. And let me know in the comments below what you've done. Uh, have you used TryHack Me before? Have you tried other methods to learn cybersecurity? Share things that worked, share things that didn't work. And let's, ha let's have a positive learning time. That's all from me for now. Bye.